Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosie and I'm an archaeological scientist at the University of Cambridge. I'm a research assistant on a project called Reverse Action. You can learn more about them on our Instagram. And basically I just thought I'd do a day in the life because I haven't done one in a while and I have a really cool day of lab work. Exciting stuff. I hope you enjoy. Take my hand and hold it tight. It's 9am right now, I'm the first person in the lab because I've actually been here since 8.30 because I was filming something that I really needed an empty lab for and now I'm setting up the 3D scanner because we are scanning some replica vessels to contribute to a study about intravessel variation there'll be a publication out soon hopefully it's under review right now <laughs> and this is basically a follow-on study using a known ceramicist so we know who made them he made every single one of these vessels and hopefully that will help us make a bit more sense of the data on that let's get the scanner set up because i've only got 45 minutes before i then have to go for a meeting so i've got to get as much done as possible also we have research interns at the moment and i love them already they're amazing they're such hard workers they'll be coming in for the meeting so they're on reading time at the moment they've got quite a reading list that we set them, poor things. And they both like doing social media themselves, so I can ask them if they want to be filmed and uh, maybe you'll meet them, we'll see. It's also the second day of open days today for the undergrad and it's so hot, I don't envy anyone working on that stand. But it does mean we're gonna have tour groups coming in and out all day, basically. So my voice is gonna hurt by the end of today if I'm vlogging and doing open day spiels. <laughs> so yesterday I realized I needed a few more scans to cover the whole of this because it is quite shiny. So it wasn't scanning as effectively as I wanted to. This is a structured surface light, structured light surface scanner. I didn't explain that. It is the Artex Space Spider and it essentially fires light patterns in front of it at the object they distort around the object and then the instrument measures that reads it there's a camera in here as well which captures the color so it doesn't like dark surfaces and it doesn't like shiny surfaces because the light just bounces back which is making this difficult but i'm trying to fix it hopefully i've got it so this is my extra piece it has a hole in it because the imaging here looked like it was overlapping a bit. It was strange, so I just got rid of it. And I hope it is not part of the <laughs> model that I was completely missing a piece of, because then I'll have to do another scan. But we're gonna see first. I can't remember really scanning it again until I notice the fact that I definitely need it. <sighs> so what you can see here is this is the exact spot where I had the big hole. Now I'm actually going to figure out where on the pot itself I need to focus my attention, which is difficult because it all looks the same. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I was looking at it the whole time, it's right here. I'm going to set this up like that, and we're going to scan around. It's easier said than done. It went red a few times. It may be a few too many times, because every time it goes red, it means it's lost its position and sometimes as a result forms a sort of double rim on a pot, which we don't want. I think I'm gonna do it again. I actually think that was a success. Oh. This is actually the one that we really need. And I don't see any double rimage. Well, pardon me, young man. Hi everyone, I'm Faye. I'm an intern and I'm going to try and scan the <laughs> She's doing really well. This is hard. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of hope it doesn't work now. Yeah, right. Search for that. What you were doing really well at was when it was on its side and you're going from the back to the front. Yeah. Like, Stop that. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I'm really good at the back. Yeah, exactly. I, I can like do that in one take. I think we're both bad at doing Yeah. This is the hardest part. Yeah. yeah, when you like transition as well. The rim bit, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's so Something I've found going from the rim into the bowl is you have to get closer than you think. Like, so the rim, you have to be further away yeah. and then to actually go into the bowl, have it on an angle so it can see the rim and the bowl and go closer than you think it would like because for some reason <laughs> it's going well. Um. morning it's 2 p.m 2 15. the interview the interview i can't even my brain is broken the open day tours were from 12 till 2 so obviously that means i haven't had lunch i sent the interns for lunch at one and then tried to get through as much of the scan processing as i could in the last hour managed to do one of them and almost another no i did two and almost another and i've basically left them now film film it it's scanning again to fill in the holes. Goodness me, I need a break. I just had lunch, completely forgot to film, but I was sat on the grass outside and now I'm going back to the lab. Okay, I think this was part number 10 or something. There, there were so many of them. And as you can probably tell by my face, <laughs> They weren't being very easy to scan. Because they're all one colour, there's no patterns on these ones, it's a bit difficult to then match them up. Also, they're very thin. The scanner doesn't like going over the edges. We only had the scanner booked for two days, so I had to get through everything, because this was day two already. And all of this needed to be done in time for our trip to the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology storerooms to actually scan some real vessels from Ecuador. And at 5pm I signed off and headed to London to watch Evita on the West End. And oh my god, it was amazing. Well, what we saw of it anyway, because I actually took us to the wrong theatre, so we did miss Act 1. But Act 2 was fantastic, and Rachel Zegler was genuinely phenomenal. And that's the end of my vlog. Just pretend it's me bowing, and I'll pretend the clapping is you. Okay? See you in my next video. Bye, guys.